Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we create our first program in Coordinator in a proper way. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial. So, inside this playlist so far we had discussed about the folder structure and the application flow of coordinator framework. In the last video means it part number 2, we had discussed only the folder structure means how can we store our controller, models and the views in different different folders of application. Now successfully I have imported this folder inside this NetWins editor. Now we are going to create our first program. In the last video session we had seen about this is the default message actually the coordinator has given as the view page. So how can we find this page? So back to editor. Now first of all we have to go on the routing section. So inside here as we can see we have a folder called config. Inside this config folder we have a file called routes.php. So if I click on this file, scroll here. Now inside this file as we can see that route default controller and here is the welcome it means that welcome is a controller it is using as a default controller to run our application now how can we find this welcome controller so if I go again inside the controllers folder scroll here controllers folder inside this controllers here is we have the welcome controller if I press that now this is our class welcome extends CI controller scroll here inside this controller we have a method something called index method and this index method basically called a view file this load view this is the syntax to load our view file and inside this function we have passed the view file name as the parameter so how can we find this welcome message view file so again back to folder structure Inside this folder structure, as we have discussed that all the presentational view part are resides inside this views folder. So back to views folder. Now inside this views folder, we have a file called welcome messages.php. So if I click on that, now this is the file. If I just let's say that we are going to change something inside that, let's say welcome to good igniter by let's say that online web tutor. So if I save this file, back to browser, reload this page, now as we can see that the message has been changed called welcome to coordinator by online web tutor. So this is the proper way to run our application. First of all we have to create a route. Inside this route, before creating a route, we have to create a controller, we have to specify some methods, those methods basically called views files and finally we have to give all the routes inside this file. So how can we move forward to create our application or our first program? So first of all, we have to create our route. In the second way, we are going to create our controller and finally we will create our view file. So accordingly, we are going to create that. So back to our editor, go inside this file and let's change that something we want that default controller should not be used as welcome. We are going to use something else. So let's say that this should be something site. Now remember this is in lowercase, but the according to naming convention of coordinator framework, we have to give the controller name as the first letter should be capital. First letter should be capital. So inside this controllers folder, I am going to create a PHP file and that PHP file is something capital S ITE site dot PHP. This is the controller file that we have created. Now inside this controller file, if I go again back to our welcome dot PHP, copy all the contents, close this file and I am going to paste all the codes inside this sites dot PHP. I am going to remove all this comment section. Here we have to change something called site and inside this site we have our index method and inside this index method I am going to call something called site index. It means that we are going to create a view file site index inside a views folder. So let's say PHP file 
inside this let's say site index.php so inside here I'm going to write some simple messages only so let's say welcome to online web tutor and I'm going to specify simple paragraph so let's say this is the playlist of code igniter framework version 3.1.10 so if I save this file back to our browser and now if I refresh this page as we have some errors so if I again reload this page now as we can see that this is the message that we have actually written inside our view file the last error actually we got this was my system error so don't worry at all now we have successfully created our first program according to the syntax of CodeIgniter first of all we have created a controller and we have specified that controller is our default controller now inside this controller called site we have a method called index inside this index we have created a view file and linked inside this index method called site index and inside site index view file we have written some sort of our messages if suppose that inside our controller we have some another methods let's say the public function and inside this let's say that about we have also about page so how can we call this method so inside this method again I'm going to load our view file so let's say this load view and let's say site about so if I copy this view file name go inside views folder and I'm going to create a PHP file let's say that site about.php and inside this again I'm going to copy all these contents pasting it here and remove this message and let's say that welcome to about page this is a simple message and if I save this controller also save all these files back to browser reload this page now if I type as we know that inside our editor we have inside site we have a method called about so how can we call this method so first of all we have to type the controller name let's say that site and we have the method inside site controller called about so if I press enter as we can see that the URL is not found it means that we have not successfully redirected on our method what we have created inside site controller so how can we find this method so after learn CI after your project setup you need to specify about index.php now if I press enter now as we can see that we are on the about page so now a question is that how can we remove index.php from URL so we will see about this thing in our upcoming videos so this is the way actually to call another methods inside any of the controller we have to specify the controller name also we have to specify our method name now if I back to editor now let's say that we have created a view file inside any of the folder it means that we have some folders inside of views folder so if I create a folder and let's say that site now inside this site folder if I back to our folder structure and inside this views folder if I reload this page now this is our site folder what we have created now all these files about site if I move all these files to our site folder now if I back to editor all we have moved this site underscore index site underscore about inside a folder called site so how can we call these methods now if we back to browser reload this page now as we can see that unable to request the requested file it means that it has some errors to load our files so to fix this issue back to our editor and let's say that we have site underscore index file is inside our site folder so site forward slash and the file name so if I save all these files back here reload this page now this is our about page again if we remove all these things now as we can see this is our home page so successfully guys we have created our first application inside our coordinator framework by using our some routes by using our some views files and also we have seen about the controllers 
So if you have any queries inside this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.